the book is unlikely. Why did you title your book unlikely? Because it's unlikely that someone uh, who was started out homeless mm -hmm. would ever become successful at anything, doing mm -hmm. anything, because mm -hmm. nobody gives a person like that any opportunity Yes, at sir. all they have to make it on their own nobody says well you're a homeless kid so here let me help you out let me Absolutely. let me show you this. It doesn't show work you. like that uh, nobody showed up and said let me show you this or show you that Thank nobody you. did that there was one guy mr nicolosi who showed up and and when i told him at age nine and a half i couldn't find a job and at age nine and a half i was five foot seven so he looked at me as this little short italian guy and he he said well get a job and I said, sir, I've tried. I've walked up and down El Cajon Boulevard in San Diego, and nobody will hire me when they find out I'm nine and a half years old. He looked at me and he said, you're nine and a half. I said, yes, sir. Can you wash dishes? I said, yes, sir. He said, you're hired. And hmm. that was how our family began to move out of homeless hmm. into the realm of poor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and kind of moved up, up oh, the ladder oh, from oh. there. Yeah. Until you were standing shoulder to shoulder with kings and queens and the, the, the iron lady herself, Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. yeah. So that it is was, definitely uh, unlikely. It, it was unlikely. And that, that's why I called that book that. Because I, I think people say to themselves. That well, is what a Bubuzela blast of. <laughs> Appreciate that. I, that's I think amazing. people say to themselves all the time, oh, it's unlikely I'll ever get a chance to do that. Wow. It's unlikely that I could whatever. Wow. And it's just it's not true. You you can. It where can we get know. where can our listeners, our followers, our viewers, our fans, fanatics, and yes, those who are still filled with hope, where can they get copies of unlikely? Because I'm gonna get my hands on that. I'm not gonna let it go until I finish reading it. Well, you can read it on Kindle for free uh, off of Amazon, or yeah. you can go out to drrawson.com and you can go to my library mm -hmm. and all my books are out there and they're all free. All you have to do is download them. You can read them right from the site. There's a, a some software we employed so that you you can read it and it turns the pages for you. It's kind so of fun. No luck for those of us who are still friends of good old. We need to flip a page and smell it and, you know, feel oh, like that connection that with. From, you can get that from Amazon. Fantastic. Yeah, now, I like that because we want to patronize. We want our viewers to patronize and support your ideas because they read it. They forget a copy on the table. One of their children, their sons, their daughters read it. Then they get to know about you and the contributions that you made into the world. So it's good to read it electronically. But I'm telling all the story warriors and story warrior associates, I call them swans, <laughs> to go get these books, read them, share them, because that's how knowledge grows. That's how we transmit sure. knowledge. We yeah. don't read and keep to ourselves, read and talk about it, share in the form of a story. That's how we inspire the next generation. Not even before the next generation, inspire each other to do good work. You've yeah. done amazing things, Mr. Rawson. I could go on and on and on and on, but I do not want to abuse your time. I want us to do a quick rapid fire uh, exercise in which I will ask a very short question and you can give me a very short answer. And uh, let's see, you know, someone who has a shorter attention span might benefit from this. So, <laughs> <laughs> so first question is, uh, Dr. Lawson, Lawson, what is the best book you've read? The best book I've ever read was Think and Grow Rich. Oh, besides, by Napoleon Hill. Besides the Bible. Okay. okay. Right. The Think and Grow Rich uh, was a book that helped me understand the power of goals and setting goals for myself. And uh, Napoleon Hill did a, an amazing job with that. I mean, it's sold as many as many copies, I think, as the Bible has. <laughs> it's just an amazing book. And it still continues to change lives until today. That yeah. Every successful person I speak to, they will mention that in their top two or top three, regardless, yeah. or in Africa, in Asia, and here. So thank you for reaffirming that. Um, who are your top three heroes when you were growing up? <laughs> when I was growing up, the first time I was introduced to the library, I, I was in eighth grade. 
And the librarian said, what do you like to read about? I said, I like to read the stories about other people. She said, well, mm. that's called a biography or an autobiography. Yep. And I said, oh, okay. And so she sent me over to this little section, and that was a section where there were the Horatio Alger stories. Yep. And there were all the biographies and autobiographies of great men like Madison and Washington and uh, all those kinds of er early people mm -hmm. uh, that settled this country. And so there must have been about a hundred and some odd books. And I read every one of them over a summer. No kidding. And uh, I just absolutely consumed it. And it turned out 